Welcome to Learn at Ease. In this video I will explain the mode of action of thyroid hormone by gene activation. So let's get started. In my previous videos I have discussed the production of triiodothyronine and tetraiodothyronine that is T3 and T4 respectively from the thyroid gland. If you want to know more about the production of T3 and T4 go to my previous video and you would find its link in the description. Once T3 and T4 are poured into the blood from the thyroid gland, they bind to the protein known as thyroid binding protein and travels in the bloodstream. Thyroid binding protein acts as a carrier of thyroid hormones. These hormones eventually reach the target tissue and produce their effect. In this video I will be focusing on the action of thyroid hormones on the target tissue, so stay tuned. In the animation shown, a eukaryotic cell possessing nucleus containing DNA is shown, this represented cell is a target cell on which the thyroid hormones will be acting. Briefly, thousands of thyroid follicles in the thyroid gland produces T3 and T4, these hormones reaches the target cell. Now, T3 and T4 easily enters the cytoplasm of the target cell by disusing through the cell membrane. This is possible because T3 and T4 are lipophilic and thus they can easily cross the cell membrane. Now here T4 is not the potent thyroid hormone but, T3 is. So, T4 will be converted to T3. This process takes place in the cytoplasm. Conversion of T4 to T3 is shown here, the enzyme iodothyronine deiodinases. Catalyses this reaction where iodine located on fifth carbon of the second tyrosine ring of T4 is removed. Thus, this enzyme is also known as 5' iodinase. In most of the vertebrates, three type of iodothyronine deiodinases are found which can carry this reaction and they are, type 1, type 2 and type 3 iodinases. Let's get back to the original animation. After T4 gets converted to T3, all the T3 enters the nucleoplasm through nuclear pore complex. In the nucleoplasm there exists, thyroid hormone receptor and retinoid X receptor. As soon as T3 enters the nucleoplasm, trimeric complex of T3, thyroid hormone receptor and retinoid X receptor is formed. This trimeric hormone receptor complex will bind to the DNA. The location of DNA at which this complex binds is known as hormone response element. Once this complex binds to the DNA, it activates transcription of certain genes which codes for mRNA, this mRNA gets translated by ribosomes in the cytoplasm and desired protein is formed, which ultimately induces the desired effect. This phenomena is called gene activation by thyroid hormone. The protein so formed induces growth and central nervous system development. Affects cardiovascular system by increasing cardiac output tissue blood flow, heart rate, and respiration. Also affects metabolism by increasing oxygen consumption, glucose absorption, lipolysis, and basic metabolic rate. Hope you enjoyed the videos on production and effects of thyroid hormones. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to LAE if you like my video. Feel free to share this video.